Hello, my name is Sylvain Bieler. I'm product manager at Knowledge Inside. I will introduce the basic features of architect design. After I log in, I choose a workspace. It is a repository for architect projects. Here, I can create a new project or open an existing one. That's what I do here. The project is now opened. There are four important features in the interface. The diagram in the center, the object trees on the left, the palette on the right, and the projection combo box at the top. Let's focus on the diagram first. It represents a system, a coffee maker, and its enabling systems. They share some flows of electricity, water, coffee powder, and hot coffee. In Architect, we can do multi-scale design. Here we can focus on the coffee maker, we can expand it and look inside it. There are several subsystems that are part of our coffee maker. Let's collapse the object. Another way to see what is inside the coffee maker is to navigate into the object by double clicking. This is the diagram of the coffee maker. There are several systems, they share some flows, but they also share flows with the enabling systems of the coffee maker. These flows finish with these ports, incoming ports in white or outgoing ports in black. And recursively, I can display the diagram of one of these systems, and so on. Ok, let's get back to the top diagram and focus on the object tree on the left. It is a hierarchical view of the project. Under the root of the project, you can see the coffee maker and the enabling systems, under the coffee maker, the different subsystems, and so on. The tree is a vertical view of the project, while the diagram is a horizontal view of part of the project. The objects have different icons because they are of different types. The type of an object determines its icon and its looks in the diagram, but it determines also the type of objects it can contain. We will understand how it works with the palette on the right. It is an important way to populate the diagram. It displays the types of objects and flows I can add in this particular diagram. For example, I can add enabling system to the root of my project, but not to the coffee maker. Let's add a new system called garbage. We will use it later. The types and the rules between the types may change from one architect project to another. It determines the formal language of the project. You need architect designer to modify or to add types and rules. Now, let's do some dumb type design. We have added an object garbage. Let's say it consumes waste and add a mass flow with this button. The flow is automatically added to the tree and to the diagram of the coffee maker. It is a very valuable feature because it allows keeping all the diagrams fully consistent. I am adding a used coffee reservoir and moving the waste flow into it. I do that easily with a drag and drop with the right button of the mouse. Then I can add a new flow from the brewing and filtering system for the used coffee. Finally, I will add a new garbage system and move my component into it. All my diagrams stayed consistent. You can see the new diagram of the garbage system or the diagram of the used coffee reservoir. The flows are present. It was done automatically by Arctic. Now, we have done a little piece of top-down design, but we can also do bottom-up design if we need to. For example, my capsule system will produce used capsules. You can notice here a question mark. It means the flow is produced but not consumed anywhere. If I go to the upper view, the flow is produced and not consumed with the question mark. I can see what are the flows not consumed or not produced and match the interfaces of my components. Let's allocate the flow to the garbage system. You can notice that only one flow is drawn with two labels. Finally, the projections. All the objects we have seen for now are into the projection named System Architecture. But a project may contain several projections of the same data. Here, I choose the Recruitment Management projection. In this diagram, you can see the enabling systems, including the garbage I just created, but not the water or electricity flows. In addition, some new types of objects are represented, 
a stakeholder who produces some requirements. Inside the coffee maker, there are the systems of the coffee maker and even the new garbage system. The projections are suitable to maintain consistent data between the different phases of a design. Here, the requirement management and the system architecture. Projections can change from one architect project to another. You need architect designer to modify or to add some projections. This is the end of this presentation. We have seen how to multi-scale design with consistent diagrams all over the project, but also over the different phases of our design. And we did all this using a simple formal language. Thank you for your attention. I hope it was helpful and I hope you will enjoy working with architects.